On this day in the year 1920, a 23-year-old American seminarian from Virginia named Frank Parater died of rheumatic fever at the Pontifical North American College in Rome. Hello, Father James Kubicki here, and this holy seminarian, who was an Eagle Scout, had arrived in Rome only the November before his death on this day. Shortly after his arrival, he wrote the following testament. I have nothing to leave or give but my life, and this I have consecrated to the Sacred Heart. I have offered my all for conversions to God of non-Catholics in Virginia. This is what I live for, and in case of death, what I die for. He also wrote the following letter to his old Boy Scout friends back home. Dear old scouts, you may never see this letter, but if you do, it is to tell you that God has granted me the greatest desire of my life, to die for love of him and my fellow man. I have loved each of you, and now that God has called me to himself, don't think I shall forget you, but will be nearer to you than I could ever be in this life. And now, old scouts, I must say so long for now, but occasionally think of your old friend and camp director, and when the time comes for you to hit the trail for home, I'll promise to be here and to welcome you to the campfire of eternal life. God's blessing be with you all. Sincerely, your friend, Frank Parater. In 2002, the Bishop of Richmond, Virginia, declared Frank to be a servant of God, the first step in the process that will one day, we hope, lead to this young man's canonization. May the servant of God, Frank Parater, intercede for all seminarians so that they may always remember, as Frank once said, that the Sacred Heart of Jesus never fails those who love him.